In this movie I'll show you how to get EPUB crawler installed onto your computer. So we won't go into any detail on how to use the program but all we'll do is install it uh, on your computer. Now you need a Macintosh or a Windows computer with uh, a copy of InDesign installed. So it can be InDesign CS3 or higher. So 4, CS5, CS55 or CS6 should all work. The first thing to do is download EPUB crawler. So in order to do that you need to visit our website which is rorohiko.com slash EPUB crawler. So all we need to do is take that link rorohiko.com slash EPUB crawler go into our browser and visit the web page. The web page that you get to see is the complete manual to EPUB crawler so it has a lot of information but at this point in time all we're interested in is the download link because we're going to install we'll get into more detail on all the rest later. So all I do is click the download link which downloads EPUB crawler into my downloads folder. Once that's done I can actually get rid of my browser and go and look at my downloads folder. Now on my computer Safari has been configured to automatically decompress zip files so the link I clicked was actually a link to a zip file but once it is in my downloads folder I get pre I'm presented with a folder. Now I can simulate what a lot of people would see if their browser was not configured the same way so there is actually a zip file that sits in your downloads folder and it's not necessarily automatically decompressed. Now how do you decompress this file? Well on a Mac you just double click it. Uh, on Windows you would right click and then select something like extract all in the context menu and then extract it to your desktop or so. Now I don't need this EPUB crawler uh, zip file anymore once it's decompressed so you can just move it to the trash. So I'll just do it with control click move to trash. So that's gone So and all I'm left with now is the decompressed EPUB crawler folder. In that folder I find a program called ECAN Crusher and I also find the EPUB crawler tool which are two separate things. So first we'll install ECAN Crusher onto the computer. ECAN Crusher is a little utility that allows you to take an EPUB folder and drag and drop it onto ECAN Crusher to convert it into an EPUB file. So EPUB crawler all by itself doesn't create EPUB files. It only creates EPUB folders which are meant to be edited. And then once you're finished editing, you want to convert those folders into EPUB files and that's what ECAN Crusher can do for you. So I pick the right zip file. In this case, I'm on a Macintosh, so I just double click Mac.zip. If you're on Windows, you would take the WinZip. So now this ECAN Crusher, you can put it wherever is suitable for you. So you could put it on your desktop if you wanted to. Uh, I prefer it in my Applications folder, so which I do. So now it's in my Applications folder, as you can see, Applications ECAN Crusher. And then I like to drag it onto my dock so I have a icon readily available to drop things on. So now I have Ecan Crusher on my dock. Right. Now Ecan Crusher being installed, I can go back to my downloads folder and I can actually delete the whole Ecan Crusher now. Because I don't need it anymore. It's installed in the applications folder. So I deleted it and all I'm left now with is the EPUB crawler folder which contains a JSX bin file and an EPUB crawler template folder. This now needs to be installed into the InDesign scripts folder and I'll show you how to do that second step now. So first of all you need to get into InDesign whichever version you have CS3 or higher and we need to bring up the scripts palette. So to do that you go to the window menu uh, under utilities you find scripts here so window utilities scripts open that up and you get uh, two areas where scripts could be installed so the application area is for scripts that are system wide which means if more than one user is using this computer and they have separate logins onto the same computer 
any scripts that would be installed into the application area would be usable by all the users of the computer. Scripts installed into the user folder are private to this particular user, so th there are the least amount of issues with installing scripts into the user folder. You don't need any special permissions to do that, whereas to install stuff into the application folder you need administrative per permissions, which not all users have on their computers. So we'll go for the user folder for now. So what you need to do now is control click or right click the user area on the scripts palette. So I've done that and then you typically get a context menu that's either reveal in finder or if you're on Windows it would say reveal in explorer. So I pick that and that brings up a finder or explorer window and it shows a folder called scripts panel. Now, do not drag the EPUB crawler folder into this scripts folder. It's not the right spot. You need to go one level further. So in the scripts folder, you find another folder called scripts panel, and you need to go into the scripts panel folder. So I've now just double clicked it, and that's where you install EPUB crawler. And the easiest way to install it is to just drag the whole EPUB crawler folder into the scripts panel folder. So I let go. So my downloads folder is empty now. And I have in my scripts panel folder, I have EPUB crawler. In this case, it's version 0.16. So if I now go back to InDesign and I open up this user area, you can see I have EPUB crawler 0.16 installed into the scripts palette now. You can also see this .ds underscore store, which is a Mac-only phenomenon. So it, that's actually a little file that's used by the finder to record certain information. And the file all by itself is not very useful in this uh, uh, situation. So you can just delete it without doing any harm. So I like my things tidy, so I essentially just click the DS store file and then just click right click or control click and select delete script file and then confirm and that takes it away and makes things a little bit tighter. There will be another .ds underscore store file inside the EPUB crawler folder. Same thing, you can right click it and say delete script file and that gets rid of it. And that's it. EPUB crawler is now installed and ready for use and we'll get on to using it in the next video.